world to the loo. <laughs> now, there is no better way to while away the weekend than with close friends and great food. And while good company is the most important ingredient of any dinner party, it's also incredibly satisfying to serve up a dish that impresses your guests, especially if you're Gary Lineker and his dad, Barry. <laughs> Turn yourself into a leg of lamb. <laughs> <laughs> Who better to challenge Claire Richards to do that very thing than Michelin style chef Thea Randall? <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, lovely to see you, Claire. Welcome back. So it's impressive. Do you think then, this is the challenge, that we can teach Claire, who's no mean cook or baker, to do a Michelin star type meal? Well, I've given her a few tips already, so her boning skills should be fantastic. What are we doing? We're going to do a guinea fowl, and we're going to bone the guinea fowl. We're going, to take Boned the, guinea we're going to take the carcass off, we're going to take the leg bone out, and we're going to stuff it with some prosciutto, some mascarpone, some lemon zest, some thyme and some garlic. How scared are you on a scale of 1 to 10? About 15. <laughs> <laughs> OK, off you go, see okay, Show us so, what you do. So this is... Okay. Oh, right, okay, so I'm paying okay, attention. So yeah. we'll go along the uh, breastbone, and we're going to go right down to the wishbone and release the knuckle joint, which holds the <laughs> wing together. <laughs> Come on, Claire, get Have on with it. Have you got the sharp knife, Claire? Time. I think my knife's blunt. <laughs> and then we're going to turn it round, and then we're going to hold the breast. Are you there, yeah? <laughs> Keep going. Well, Come on. getting there. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, we're just going to go down to the leg a bit, and then we're going to dislocate... This sounds awful, isn't it? So <laughs> dislocate the uh, dislocate leg. Dislocate the leg. And then we're going to cut round and then How just are you doing, take Claire? off <laughs> the side of the... I'm not bar. sure. Yeah. Hold on. Oh. I'll do the other side No, well. OK, OK, OK. So again, down the... We can give you a side if you haven't quite got there, Claire. It's me to expect you to <laughs> become a Michelin star chef in five minutes. I actually see I was quite glad you're not doing very well because it doesn't have to make him look good. <laughs> I'm, just, right? I'm slowing down on purpose just to make him look good. What are you doing? doing? Oh, okay, okay, okay. My knife is not as sharp. Is it? Okay, okay, I think you need to that? hold it there. And I'll just put your knife down through. I'll keep your fingers out. I've done the wrong right. bit. You've just gone down the. Um, Wishbone there. Oh. Okay. oh. So we just cut down That's there. That's why it's so difficult. Yes. And then... Remind me not to come to you on Harley Street. <laughs> <laughs> and then cut round. Just, and then just get that part of the leg. Okay. Uh, cut one. Remove okay. my hand yeah. at that point. Oh, okay. but just put your knife through then. Just cut down. Down there? Yeah. We'll leave you with that. You'll carry okay. on with it because then we can see how... So the great thing about Sorry. this is you can get two oh. meals out of this. Yeah. You can use all the... Uh, <laughs> you can use all of the... In Claire's case, half a meal. <laughs> Uh, you can use all the bones and, and bits and pieces and make a really nice stock. So you can do yeah. like a risotto or a soup. But the idea is to go around and just take, get rid of all the bone. So you're just basically taking all the good meat take, off? You're taking all the good meat. And the thing is, it's great because when the, the lovely crispy skin and you've got the... You're right there. <laughs> yes, I'm legging there in a minute. <laughs> oh, dear. I think I better right. give her a hand. You OK? Are you doing well, well? Let's watch it. Let's watch it. We need to get one and then, um, I can't we just trim, up, trim up only the fat. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make, wash my hands quickly. Excuse me. And then we're going to... There's a bowl down here. I thought I... Should... <laughs> to let you know. And then I get okay. some prosciutto. So we're just going to get prosciutto, parma ham. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to get a slice of parma ham. And we're going to yeah. mix up a little bit of the lemon zest, a <laughs> little bit of the thyme. Yeah. And then a little bit of the garlic. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Are you there? I've done well, it. Well, there's his oh, garlic. Hey, he's he's got a link now, anyway. Yeah. 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 Well done. Mix all those ingredients together. <laughs> <laughs> is it still a, is it one and a half? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's one and a half. That's all okay. right, isn't it? I'll take all the meat off it now. Bit of salt, <gasps> the bones, you the bones out. Bones, yes. And well, then we've got our mixture, so that's lemon zest, mascarpone, thyme, and garlic. And then we put a little spoonful of that inside the prosciutto. I can't even watch what hand. you're doing. <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> and then I'll tell you about we're it later. Put a little piece it's going under really the well. breast. And under the leg. And the whole point of this is it's quite salty, the parma ham, so it actually seasons the inside of the, oh, of the right, uh, guinea idea. fowl. Yeah. And it keeps it kind of nice and juicy. So you find a little pocket in there. Oh, like pocket. between the skin and the flesh. Yeah, and then you pop that in, and then you fold that little bit of fillet over so it. It goes under the skin like that. Cunning. And then the same thing under the leg. And then we get a keep nice up, hot keep pan. Up there. Wash I've my hands again. I'm finding it away, so I yes, know exactly what I'm doing. Yes, two little side of the quail. But exactly. Salt, exactly. Yeah. That's very nice for putting it. Two little rucksacks. And then a little bit of salt and pepper, oil in a pan, make sure the pan's nice and hot. And we're right. going to put the guinea fowl breast side down because it's got amazing skin guinea fowl. Oh, it's yes. a very underrated bird, I think. And it's then, quite a size, it's as big as a chicken. Yeah. It's as big as a chicken, and you know, this is like really nice way of cooking it because it cooks quite quickly. It cooks about 10 minutes. 
And what I'm going to do, once it's sealed on one side, on both sides rather, I'm going to put a little bit of sourdough bread. So it's really good for some stale bread if you've got some at home. And then you just put the guinea fowl, which has been sealed on both sides, on top of the bread. Yeah. And then you cook it in the oven, you get the most incredible crispy bread. All the fat from the guinea fowl makes the bread very crisp. So that's the sourdough bread over there. Yeah. That's the sourdough bread. So we'll get How's Claire doing? How are you doing, love? <laughs> We're going to about a it's minute and a half to go, there. guys. So. Yeah, you're right. They're just cut the other side. Which one? Over. This way. Yeah. And they I just can't even the 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 recognise what that was. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it reminds me of that story about the turkey at Christmas. It got put in the oven, you know, and and then forgot to turn the gas on. And suddenly, the turkey stuck its head out of the oven and said, "For goodness' sake, I'd have liked the gas or giving me feathers back." <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure my nice blunt. Sure, and Ed, well, it doesn't look particularly. Is that? A... Yeah, that's minute, good. minute left, chef. Okay, so minute left. Do okay. what you want to do. I'd have leave you on that one. So we're just going to skin. You know the Linickers are eating this later. I know. Yeah. They might It'll be have much to wait later a bit eating yours. <laughs> and so nice and good on both sides. Yeah. And then we're just going to pop that. So that's your sourdough. And then you put the guinea fowl on top. Lovely. And then in the oven. <laughs> and that yeah. goes in the oven for about 10, 12 minutes. Yeah. And as, it, as it, you've that's got on the brisket, it's not long at all, but it's not that thick. If you look at how thick the breast is, right. and there's no bone in the leg as well, yeah. so it's going to cook really nicely. And all that lovely juice from the guinea fowl and the prosciutto and the mascarpone is going to go into the bread. So you get that lovely, all that lovely flavour. And then all the fat makes it all nice and crispy oh, on the bottom. Oh, oh. Have you seen what's going on? She's here. She's here. The Michelin stand. Oh, the leg's off! Hey. Let's well, oh, we will find out how Claire gets on at the end of the show when she serves up to Gary. I think we already Gary. know, Alan, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> Gary and Barry, we've got a little time to get yourself prepared. <laughs> For now, my thanks to Claire and, of course, Theo Randall. Thanks, Theo. Thank you. So we come, find out Gary Lineker's childhood secrets when he joins me along with his oh, dad. Yeah. And do you suffer with puffy eyes? Or are you unhappy with the shape of your nose? In my case, yeah, yes to both. Plastic surgeon Dr. Jordan. Well, you're plating up. Now, this smells absolutely divine. How did she do in the end when the pressure was off? The end? Been working so hard, She's Alan. Worked. She's been oh, sweating so all afternoon. So that is the sourdough underneath. So we basically, that's the sourdough. It's really crispy on the bottom. It's yeah. sort of moist on top. We've oh. got some beautiful portobello mushrooms, which just fried with some garlic and uh, olive oil. Absolutely and then delicious. simple spinach with olive oil. Nice colour. And then we've got yeah. our guinea fowl, which has got nice crisp skin. I'm just going to cut the wing off. Right. So we're and getting rid of... Cut off. And if you look through the middle there, look at that. Wow, with your um, prosciutto... Prosciutto and mascarpone. Mascarpone. And then we'll just pop a bit of the leg on. Which is that wonderful cheese which will disguise the taste of horse in a burger. <laughs> <laughs> mascarpone. Never mind. Yes. And okay. then Ooh, Claire's going to finish with the delicious sauce she made. It's sauce on top of that. Oh, shall I take them over to the, uh, to the two impatient diners when you, you put just, your sauce just, just on? As much as you like. Just drizzle it Right. On. There we go. Oh, the expert part. Yeah, a bit more. Okay. Needs to be really... One more, chef, and then... Well, no. I'll take them over to the uh, sauce, the expectant diners. Okay, let's get these. Oh, that that's lovely. This, I tell you, this smells gorgeous, Linny, because it really does. Yeah. <laughs> Here you are. If things you, go bad, you, you can get a job doing this. I could, could I? Just waiting. <laughs> I really need to have that on my shoulder, really, not on my arm. So I'll just do the. Um, yes, what you will find you're eating here, sir, <laughs> is <laughs> delicious guinea fowl cooked with spinach, sourdough underneath, stuffed with mascarpone and prosciutto. Oh, yes. You can tell I'm Italian, can't you? <laughs> it's very, it's very, yeah. Have a go, see what you think. I'll Should, bring mine. Mine's coming. Okay. Come on, guys. Here we Where go. We go. It's coming over. Tuck in. <laughs> I'm, I'm salivating here. I'm really this sorry. Is... I'll apologise now. <laughs> <laughs> which is yours and which is we, Theo's? We're sharing. You're sharing. Right, okay. Yeah. Gary, what do you reckon? Mm, delicious. Mm. Genuinely delicious. What's the bread like? Mm. Very nice. It's fried bread. I'm not trying oh. the bread yet. Yeah. Wow. Are you, you should get a bit of everything. Well, you should get a bit of everything. Mm. You get the mushrooming. So mushrooming's got quite a strong flavour. That bread yeah, is great because it sort of picks up the sauce, doesn't it? Yeah. Is your mouth watering? Yes! So good. This is not my fault. <laughs> Claire, what are you doing again? Do you, do you feel common now? Let me give you a sharp knife, which is pretty hard. Don't feel you I got think if I had a bit longer to um, 
to bone the guinea fowl, or I might just get the butcher to do it. Absolutely. And I could do the rest of it. Revert to chickens here. It's just got that much more flavour oh, than a bit of chicken, hasn't yeah, it? It's got more no, fattiness. Yeah. Yeah. Barry's yeah. in here. Yeah. Not need his tea when he goes home tonight, <laughs> is he, really? <laughs> well, we think that's sumptuous. Mm. Cool. I'm just going to... So, we must remind ourselves, sourdough on the bottom, portobello mushrooms. Portobello mushrooms, yeah, very delicious mushrooms. It's full of flavour, just yeah. fry it with a bit of garlic and olive oil. Yeah. And then we just the spinach. spinach, which is just blanched in, in water. The uh, guinea fowl stuffed with prosciutto, mascarpone, thyme and lemon. And then we sealed it on both sides and then put it on top of the bread and then let all the fat and the juices roast into the chips. And it tastes delicious. Fowl. Ladies and gentlemen, my thanks to Theo Randall, Claire Richards, Gary and Barry Lineker. Thank you, guys. <laughs> teasing you through the show, but now it's time for an exclusive performance of the Walker Brothers classic, The Sun Ain't Gonna Shine Anymore. Please welcome